In this video, you're going to learn how to use the sort tool in Excel to sort tables of data into any order you like. And if you'd like to grab a copy of the Excel file I use in this video, just click on the link in the description below. Okay, so over here in Excel, you can see that we've got a table of data and we've got some areas, north, south, east, and west. We've got some store names. We've got the months, January and February for each of those stores. And then we've also got their sales amounts. And up the top of the table of information, we've got the headers in row one. So there's a few different ways that you can get to your sort tool. So if I just click on the table of data anywhere, and then we go to the home tab in the ribbon, over on the right hand side, there's the sort and filter drop down. And from here, you can select sort A to Z or ascending. You can select sort Z to A or descending or you can click on custom sort. And if you do that, a pop-up box opens up that gives you lots of different options. I'll just cancel out of there and I'll just show you the other way to get to it is by going to the data tab in the ribbon. And here you can see you've got a sort and filter section. And in that section, you've got the same kind of buttons. So you've got sort A to Z, sort Z to A, and you've got this button for a custom sort. Okay, so let's start off by sorting our table by amount from smallest to largest. So all we need to do for that is just click on any of the amounts and then click on the sort smallest to largest button. And as you can see, that's sorted the whole table of data based on the amounts. So we've got 23,000 as the smallest amount and 120,000 as the largest amount. Now we can also do that in the opposite order. So let's come up here and click on sort largest to smallest. And now we can see the 120,000 at the top and the 23,000 at the bottom. Okay, so what if instead we wanted to sort this by store name? So we can click on one of the store names and once again, we could click on smallest to largest. And as you can see, that's put the high growth store first and then Largeville next, and then Liverpool, etc. And if we click on sort Z to A, that's now started with Tunbridge, and then Smallville, and then Scarborough. So that's going in descending order down the alphabet. Okay, another way we could sort this is by month. So if we click on one of the months, and then click on sort A to Z, you can see that that's put February 1st and then January because F comes before J. And that might not be exactly what you want. You might actually want January 1st. So the way to do that is to go into custom sort, make sure you've got month selected here, and then in the order, come over to custom lists. And here you can see there's some custom lists already set up. And we want to choose this one, which is the short version of the month names. So you can see that's already set up there in the list entries. And if we click on OK and OK again, Excel now knows that we actually want to sort that in order of months rather than in alphabetical order. So it's put January 1st and then February. Okay, so what if we wanted to sort by area name? So if we click on one of the area names, and we click on sort A to Z. That's put east first and then north, south and west. So that's in alphabetical order. And if we click on Z to A, that's done it in reverse alphabetical order. But what if we actually want to have north, south and then east and then west? To do that, we can just create our own custom list. So go into sort, go into order and custom list. And then over in list entries, we just need to put in those names in the correct order. Okay, so I've typed in North, South, East and West on separate lines. If we click on add, you can see that's a new custom list. So now we'll click on okay and okay again. And when we come back out here, we can see that Excel has sorted the whole table in order of area north, south, east, and then west. So that's in order of the custom list that we just made. 
Okay, before we go, I just want to show you one other thing. So if we click back on to the table and then we go up to the custom sort button, you can see over here, there's a checkbox for my data has headers. If we uncheck that box, you can now see that the headers are actually included in the data that's going to be sorted. And over here in sort by, it's now using the column names, A, B, C, and D as a selector rather than area store month and amount because it thinks that that row of data is actually included in what we want to sort. So if I click on OK, you can see that it's actually moved that header row right down the bottom now. So I'll just control Z and undo that. So I just wanted to warn you that when you're selecting the data to sort, to just make sure you've either checked or unchecked my data has headers as appropriate. So in this instance, we would leave it unchecked. And then let's just sort this by store and click OK. And there you can see that it's left the header row at the top and it's sorted everything by store name in alphabetical order. Okay, so that's how you can use the sort tool in Excel.